when people think of boundaries, they often think of that like awkward, kind of uncomfortable setting limits with a person who is taking advantage of them. It is seen as a last line of defense. But did you know that you can also set boundaries with yourself? Because when you are able to respect and protect your own time, then you can have that other that expectation of other people. It's really hard to expect other people to honor your time when you are not doing that for yourself. And yes, other people waste our time, but we are also very, very good at wasting our own time. So what you can practice then, if you want to get better at that, is having firm boundaries with yourself. And here are some examples of what I mean and some examples of things that you might choose to try. Number one, you might choose to try to have firm boundaries around your work time and your time with your kids. Instead of getting into that situation where you're multitasking and you're feeling annoyed with your kids because your work isn't getting done, but you're also feeling guilty because your kids aren't getting your full attention, that can be solved when you instead break that up into two chunks of time. One chunk of time where your work gets your undivided attention and one chunk of time where your children get your undivided attention. Both get done and both get done by you with your complete focus and undivided attention. Another thing you might try is setting some clear boundaries around your phone usage. I don't know about you, but this is something that is always a work in progress for me. One thing you could try is putting that phone away out of sight for those hours, you know, from the start of dinner to bedtime when you want to be fully present with your kids and when you want to be productive as a family engaging in those family tasks. Another way you might use personal boundaries with yourself is if you are having issues with someone in your life who is bringing a lot of negativity into your life. You might have a boundary with yourself where you just don't engage with that person because it continues to prove to be unproductive. There are many different ways that you can set boundaries with yourself to practice and help yourself respect your own time. Because again, if you cannot hold your boundary for yourself, it's really hard to ask somebody else to respect the boundaries you set with them. So give it a try, let me know what you think.